Welcome to Manage Mart Online Office for Pros. In this video, we'll tell you about how the Manage Mart calendar management features work. To get to the calendar page, you need to click on the schedule menu item on left side navigation bar. Then click on calendar submenu item. Additional options provided by ManageMart will help you to find, sort, and mark tasks on the calendar page. Day type calendar page overview. There are three types of tasks daily, weekly, and monthly. By default, you can always see the daily view of the calendar. Let's make a quick review of the daily view of the ManageMart calendar feature. The empty square icon in the upper left corner is responsible for highlighting tasks from the general list on your profile. By clicking on this icon, you can automatically select all the tasks on the page. You can also select each task individually by clicking on the task type icon and checking the checkbox there. The second click cancels the selection. The ellipsis next to the selection option hides the delayed task button. On the other side, there are three buttons to change the display of tasks by day, week, and month. How to filter the tasks By clicking on the option Filter, you can filter your tasks under the following settings. From the drop-down list, you can pick the option All Customers or type the name of the needed customer. You can also pick the crew responsible for the task by the type of the task, by the status of the task. After selecting the desired peculiarities, just click on the Apply Filters button. You can press Cancel in case of cancellation. In the Day Task View mode, you can move from the current day to any other day by selecting this day in the small calendar on the right side of the tasks. Month Type Calendar View in the Month Type calendar, you can change the view of the task. It can be modern, in the minimalist style, classic. This view will contain more details and information about the task. The classic view has two versions, compact and extended. In the compact version, the view of the list of the tasks will look like this. In the extended version, the view of the list of the tasks will look like this. In the classic view settings, you can add or remove the information about the tasks. It can be displayed by the name of the task, by the name of the customer, by the name of the crew or time. You can see the full list of the tasks by clicking on the needed date in the calendar. To view all the details about the task, just click on it. You can also add it, delete or change the status of the task into complete. About the button statement, which means add a bit, you can learn in the separate video named statement. Types of the tasks There are following types of the tasks. Task for general tasks, phone call to call the customer, meeting to plan meetings, maintenance for internal tasks related to the maintenance of machinery and equipment. Note, in calendar month mode, you can find out the type of the task only after opening the task for viewing or editing. In calendar week and day mode, each type of the task has its own icon. Task, phone call, meeting, maintenance. Statuses of the task can be open, the open task, completed, completed task, in process, task which is in progress, not serviced, failed, unattended task. You can see the reason for the following status in the appropriate field. Each status of the task has its own color. Open, purple, completed, blue, in process, Orange, not serviced, red. In the week and month view, the color of the status of the task is displayed as a narrow bar on the left side of the task. How to create new task? Just click on the button New Task and in the appeared window, fill in the form with the following information. First, name of the task. Second, type of the task. Third, assign the color for the task. You can do that by clicking on the blue square next to the task type. Select the color you like from the palette. Fourth, select the date for the task. Fifth, set the time for the task, not necessarily filled. Sixth, write the detailed description if needed. These six points will be the same for all the types of the tasks. The remaining fields may vary.
type of the task type. First, select a client from the drop down list. If it is new, then create a profile via the plus button filling in the fields. Second, select asset optional. Third, select contract if there is some. Fourth, set the location. Please note that when choosing a customer or an asset, the location is automatically filled according to the data from the customer or asset profile. This field must be filled in if you want to use the root function. Fifth, the task is repeated. Click on the recurrence slider and set the corresponding parameters, duration, start and end. Sixth, in the involved staff section, select the crew or employees involved in the task. Seventh, in the next section, you can contribute goods and services that should be provided as part of this task or work. Click on Add Service or Item. Next, fill in the fields as in the usual invoice. Eighth, in the additional info, select Field Template. Fill in the field names, adding them as necessary through the plus. Write down the text or put the desired date. If you assign a task with a type phone call or meeting, make sure to fill in with the information all the required fields. Maintenance type of task. You can create maintenance type of task to maintenance on equipment. The filling all the information is different only in few fields. Under description, you can select the equipment. In the cost part, you can add maintenance costs. Next will be fields for the task, such as involved staff and additional info. Note. In the task view week and month, you can create a new task by clicking on an empty cell of the needed day. All the saved tasks first have the status open. Start job and complete task option. To complete the task, please open the task and press button complete in the top right corner. Before changing the status of the task to complete, you can add some completion notes if such required. You can also add the time of the beginning of the task and its end. Please note that the fields in the subsection may differ depending on the type of task. In tasks such as maintenance, phone call or meeting, you need to add time spent, costs for maintenance and notes. For the type task in the completion details subsection, you can also use the option auto invoicing, sending invoice created on the basis of the task or notifications about it email, snail mail or SMS, invoice auto payment. How to add the task? To add the task in status completed, you need first to change the status of the task to open. First, open the needed task. Second, click on the action button. Third, then click reopen. Fourth, open the same task again. Fifth, click on the action button. Sixth, choose edit and implement the needed changes. Copying and deleting the task. While editing the task, you can also copy or delete this task by clicking Action, Delete or Copy. There is also another way on how to delete the needed task. First, open the calendar in the Day view. Second, select the task by putting a tick. Third, press the ellipsis next to the selection option. Fourth. Click Delete. Moving the tasks. In the calendar view month, you can move any task by dragging it to another day with the left mouse button held down. Note, if you move a task that is included in a series of repetitive tasks, the system will ask you whether to drag a specific task or the entire series. 
If you select the entire series, the software will automatically recalculate the task repetition system depending on where you move the task. If you select one task to move, it will move and will be excluded from the series of repetitions.